guys. Here with Top Ford and the Rocks yeah. Radio here with. My name's Stephanie Gilson. I'm Ava Warbrick. And you're, what's the main reason you guys are here? Besides all the fun that's going to be at the here. We're here to promote and screen our film, Stephanie in the Water, which features Stephanie, a documentary recording of the film on Stephanie. So let's start with the title. How was the title when you first decided? Oh, the title took a long time to, uh, to kind of yeah. happen. We really sort of created a kind of title. <laughs> we went with something very literal. Uh, we just wanted to mention water and something. Okay. So it ha doesn't have this deep psychological <laughs> meaning associated with it that it makes you ponder for it. Just yeah, dropping it out there, that's what it's going to be. I think it's just you know, straightforward. Oh, okay. So tell us a little bit about Kick-Ass. Uh, there's Stephanie in the Water is um, it's a, uh, basically a documentary portrait of myself um, in a period of my career that was uh, full of great adventures and uh, it's a pretty good story. Um, basically, I uh, won, I've won five world titles. And so, um, yeah, I met Ava along my travels and we became really good friends and, and I basically um, we, we decided to collaborate on a film and just kind of document intimately my, my travels and um, my story so it's, it's great it's like a, a story basically through winning world titles to becoming girls to just um, I don't know, being a young girl and, and just Thank you. enjoying my life and, and growing as a human. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So where did you guys shoot the whole project that? We shot all around the world. We, we, I mean, we just, pretty much just the world going yeah, on. Just, just the globe, basically. <laughs> we started in Europe, um, States, Australia, um, yeah, France, Portugal, New York, um, Hawaii, Hawaii. Micronesia, Puerto Rico, everywhere. Okay. There was water, we were there. Okay. It's shot in the ocean. In the water. Okay. So as long as there's a big pond of water, you guys were there pretty much. Yeah. Now, how long did it take from start to finish to complete the whole project? Um, I met Stephanie in 2009. Beginning of 2009, and he started filming in 2009. Oh, wow. So, you know, I followed her for you know, a few years there, um, and then we continued to follow up for um, about a year after the first year. Um, so, you know, it's been about a four or five year project. From start to finish. Now, yeah. <laughs> now, we're at the Hamptons Film Festival right now going on. Where are you guys heading? Yeah. I think we're going to try and get all three shows in the destination. We can end up in the world. Yeah, anywhere. Yeah. Pack it's a bags great and go. story. That, that's the cool thing about this film is that it kind of, it's not a surf, sort of, it has a much um, deeper story that is really, um, I think, interesting to any kind of person and you don't have to be a surfer at all. So, um, yeah, I think that's a beauty of this film and I think that's why I love it. It's really well received around the world. Or, no, because we're in modern day era and with Google Plus, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, the list keeps going, going on. How has that impacted the whole production from a fan standpoint, reception? How is that going on? Um, no, this is one thing I will say um, in relation to um, like making this kind of film. Surfing itself has so much video content online, and we made a conscious and um, specific uh, decision to shoot on 16 millimeter film. Throwing it old school there. We, yeah, we kept it old school, and um, by doing that, you know, we have this little bit longer, so we made a project. It's not, it's not really something you find online. So I think it, yeah, it's just it not another video. <laughs> Oh, there's no cats rolling around. <laughs> now, um, what do you think was the hardest and like the low point of the film, and then the highest that in the production from start to finish? Um, I think the 
I just pick uh, one. Well, I would say, <laughs> in terms of production itself, um, you know, we were, because we were traveling to all corners of the globe and trying to capture moments, right? Big swell. My cinematographer was very cooperative. He flew to Micronesia, got this tiny little boat, this big 16 millimeter rig, and trying to, you know, just shot the shot, shot. And he went to great lengths to work on this project. That's a high Just working with Working with surfing in general is pretty hard because you know, it's not something that you can uh, just have ready to go and you can't set it up and expect it to do its job. It's so um, unpredictable. You can't schedule the waves. So, yeah, that's kind of a hard thing to work with. But at the same time, it's, it's uh, such a unique experience to, to show the world, to share with someone in the middle of America never seen the beach before. And to be able to show that to them and, um, and have a great story as well. Not only just surfing, but a great story with it. It's, it's pretty special, so that's definitely hard for them. Now, from people who want to get into surfing and film at the same time, like you kind of were able to do that, and from inspiring producers, directors, if you could give one piece of advice, I'm sure the list can go on and on and on and on. But what do you think is the most crucial advice that you guys want to give each pro the inspiring people? Uh, the advice I always give is um, just never Push your limits and you'd be surprised at how far you go. And uh, just enjoy it. If you're not enjoying it, there's no reason to be What else yourself? You know, you need to stay creative. You need to stay creative. Now, we're screening here going on the Hampton Film Festival. Any plans for digital, physical distribution? What's going on with that? Um, I think we're just, you know, in the screening stages. Screening. So, yeah. But more it, to come. Okay, more to come. So where can people find you? Uh, Stephanie in the water. Okay, so that's where all the information is going to be going on. So now, I guess we talked about the whole YouTube and video going on. Where do you think, or where do you want the whole film industry from what you guys are doing to go in the next five years? Because you shot it old school going on because that's what people used to do. They shoot it and literally they would cut the film and now we have all these high resolution cameras, 4K, 3D, uh, red cameras, all that high technology. So where do you like want it to go compared to right now? Because it has progressed so so quickly, so fast, all this short period of time. Um, you know, I think this film can go anywhere, but um, it, what sets it apart is shooting the stock. Mm -hmm. and, and the style which we made it, but I don't think it happened. Um, it just where it goes. So have you guys received any fan reaction and reception thus far for it from you guys doing the project? Um, yeah, I think people are really interested in the project because we were working on it for quite a long time. You know, people know that it exists and this is the premiere, so I think we're just excited to take a look at it. So what's next for you guys after this? Any ideas? For me, I'm just uh, next is to just continue surfing. And Hopefully, there's going to be a crew following around the whole time. Howling out, wiping out. Um, and just, yeah, I mean, for me, it's just traveling, competing, and um, sort of moving and progressing my career in that sense. And then also working on more projects to come, I guess, just you know, film, anything. But, what about yourself? What do you hope to do next? Or um, you know, I have a few different things that I'm um, hoping to work on, but the first thing um, on my list is a, a horror movie project. Uh, so we're going so from surfy to horror. Yeah. How about just a behind the two? I know. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Yeah, I see. Like I said, just throw me a uh, credits, special thank you going out if you guys come on it. The whole thing going on. You heard it here first, guys. We have the whole evidence. So. Oh, how are you? So a horror project that we're going on. Any dates or anything to come out regarding that? Um, not just yet. Not just yet. So. Okay. 
but hopefully you can stay in touch and we'll see where things are going on. So, but any final words that you want to give out there regarding experiences, comments, advice, anything you want to throw out there? Shout out to mom and dad, to dog back at home. Yeah, shout out to mom and dad. <laughs> shout out to Seth, 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 well, like Kalbanga. I said, Kalbanga. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> so, when is the show on at the festival? It's tomorrow, Saturday at 5 p.m. in Montauk, and then Sunday at 9 p.m. in okay. okay, well, we're pretty much done. So, Have you ever yeah, I, I've tried, but I don't do well. So, uh, yeah. That was a horrible experience. That's how I kind of. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> but I do want to learn because I do I do snowboard, so hopefully I can transition one. Day. But thanks, guys, for coming out here, and it's been a pleasure. Fantastic.